All right, guys, welcome to my uh, channel for engin mechanical engineering classes, okay? I hope uh, to help you guys out with, uh, primarily with, you know, your freshman, sophomore engineering classes. Uh, what I plan on doing is doing all the fundamental examples. That way you guys get, like, a really good uh, feel for all the problems and, you know, uh, and then start trying out problems that aren't just assigned in your homework but the tougher problems that will really uh, drill this uh, all the concepts down all right so the first one we'll do is starting in chapter four because kind of when things start getting tricky uh, I, I will do chapter three especially towards the later part of chapter three when you have to do um, you know 3d forces and unit vector finding all that finding the unit vector and translating forces along it okay so for the first one, we'll do F41. This is from the Hebler book. Uh, I think it is, uh, let me check. I don't know, it's the free version online. Uh, the 12th edition, I believe. 12th edition of Hebler statics. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so let's get started with this. The problem asks for the moment of the force about 0.0, all right? We know that we know that our um, moment equation. This is moment or torque, whichever. What the heck? Whichever one you guys are most comfortable with, right? Our moment equation in vector notation is going to be r cross f, right? For for two D, I I just simplify this down a little bit further, and it's just going to be magnitude of r magnitude of f right times sine 90 okay uh, so sine theta sorry and then uh, the the most simplest one that we'll be using most of the time this is going to be r f or you guys will might might be used to just seeing it like this fd force times distance force times distance okay so for this example, okay, that we have, uh, the first thing we want to do is, uh, first, you, there's a few ways of doing it, and we'll do it, you know, kind of like the book does it, all right? So right away, you can tell that there's a 30-degree angle with the horizontal here, right? And we know that the angle between, uh, the angle that is made between two parallel lines and a line going through it like so these internal angles are going to be the same okay so this is theta and this is theta okay which means that this 30 degrees is also the same as this angle okay so that's 30 degrees okay so you know this total angle is going to be 50 all right so as soon as you see angles you want to break your force down into X and Y components. In this case, we can say, uh, you know, um, let's just, you know, have the X and Y components in this direction. This is X, this is Y. So we pretty much like tilted our, you know, tilted our paper uh, 30 degrees to just strain everything out. Okay. Um, all right. So if, let's break the force down into components. So, you know, uh, let's do X. So the X component will be like this. So this will be FX. Okay. And then over here, we'll have a Y component, FY. All right. So then what's FX and FY? So we know FX is going to be 600 cosine 50 okay so cosine because the angle is with the horizontal in this case like a horizontal is the top part of the beam because i oriented oriented it this way okay so whenever you have um an angle with the horizontal your x component will be 600 okay i mean so sorry cosine so 600 cosine 30 and that comes from sokotoa right because it will be the adjacent side. The adjacent is ka, so cosine adjacent cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay. So 
the next one we'll have is FY, which is 600 sine 50. Okay, and I think I messed up here. Let's erase this guy. This is cosine 50. Okay, f of x, f of y. All right. Now, one thing that I will recommend getting used to is is drawing a, you know, drawing the line of action of each force. Okay, onto or, or you're putting your pay, you're putting your pen along the direction of this force, and then you're gonna say how much, what distance do I have to move the pen in order to intersect uh, the pivot point O. Okay. So what I mean by that is like, okay, let's say you put your pen down and it's laying flat against this force, okay? Now, in w how, what's the distance that I have to, uh, you know, shift this line of action in order to um, intersect point O? And that's given to us by this point 0.5, okay? So point 0.5. And, I, and the reason for that is because you know RF it has to be the this angle in order for for it to be F times D sine theta has to be 90 degrees so the force and your uh, distance have to be perpendicular to each other okay so the distance is this our force is in this direction which make a 90 degree okay which allows us to use this equation all right so if we do the net force about mo about point O, so let's say moment about point O, uh, it's going to be 600 cosine 50, right? And I haven't done any signs or anything like that. It's just cosine 50 times the distance that we said, which is going to be 0.5. I have to shift the line of action over 0.5 in order to intersect point O. All right. And then what direction uh, will this go? Well, if we pull on the, you know, we pull on it, right? It's gonna, um, your your uh, beam will want to rotate in the counterclockwise direction, okay? Which is gonna be a positive moment. So we're gonna have positive moments and then negative moments are gonna be, so clockwise moments will be negative, Counterclockwise will be positive. Okay, so let's do Fy. Fy is in this direction. All right. Again, let's do a line of action. Right. So this is the line of action for Fy. All right. So how much do I have to shift this over in order to intersect um, point O or, or pivot point O? Well, so you have to shift it over by five feet. Okay. Very very clear. And it will rotate counterclockwise as well. So it's going to be 600 um, sine 50 times 5. Okay. So both of these are positive, which means our structure is pretty wants to rotate counterclockwise, which makes sense if you if, if you were to, you know, put a, you know, a ruler down and you tie a string to it and pull it in that direction, the, the same orientation as this, you're going to see that it's going to rotate counterclockwise. All right, so the summation of those uh, those two terms is 2,400, mm, let's say 91 pound feet. I keep catching myself writing two letters ahead of the beginning so I have to like work myself like the L, B, I wrote B first and then the L. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, and this will be the answer for F41, okay? Nice. Um, I hope you guys found this useful. Um, I will be posting a lot more of these uh, in order to help you guys out with your studies, okay? Um, you know, don't just copy word for word. Try to understand what you're actually doing. And, you know, you won't have to do any cheat sheets or anything like that. You're just going to know how to do things. Okay. Nice. Hope to see you in my next video. Peace.